Good day dear Tango friends. Today I would like to show you how pattern S wrap a flower. Step out by Henny Brouwer are drawn. The fact is this pattern can be drawn in a dotted grid, a squared grid and well it looks like a grid but it's a part of the pattern so actually no grid although the pattern can be the grid too. Well, I will show you three ways all the three ways and I start with the way the step out is um, is given. So it starts with a small circle around a dot. Well, here you can see the dot needs to the right of the, or to the left two dots. So we start here, the first dot. And in the result you can see that the next circle is one, two, three, around the fourth dot. So one, two, three, around the fourth dot. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here you can see um, the second row is drawn one, two, three dots down and one, two. So one, two, three, one, two. 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 The third row with circles is drawn one, two, three, four, five, six down this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see this one is in the middle of these five. Think about the five on the dice. So here and here and here. And the next one of course the same. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And here, and here, and here. Next step is to draw the S line. From the right side of this circle, down, two dots down. So let's repeat that. This one not because my paper ends here. The next one is two dots to the left. I'll show you. One, two. One, two. One, two. Come to this one because there is no more uh, paper. Next one is two one up, two dots up, one, two. So like this. Next is to go two dots up, up, from the small circle, one, two. 
one, two, one, two. And we might as well do this one too. And this one, uh, this one we can do. Meeting the other line. The next one, this one, is go two dots to the left. One, two. Uh, to the right, sorry. So, meeting the other one, always start at the small circle. And the final is starting ab uh, above the small circle and go down two dots. One, in step four she shows you how to connect two of those um, shapes but I draw them in a pattern immediately. So now to show you the flower. Here it is. This time I'm using color. Here you got that lovely S wrap flower. But of course you can also draw this of color this pattern in a different way in a kind of zigzag i'm coloring quickly because i need to show you two more ways to draw this pattern so this is one way with the dot grid as the step out say now i show you with a square grid because for me it's time consuming to draw all those dots. So, actually it's the same as the dotted grid. So let me count. One, two, three, the fourth. One, two, three, the fourth. One, two, three, the fourth. Again, the five dots like on the dice. Well, practically it's the same as the dotted grid. So, two down. There it is, as wrap flower. I forgot a line here, I see. As wrap flower by Henny Brouwer. It's a very clever pattern again. She's a genius in, in creating patterns, in designing patterns, really. Very clever.
So now you can see, because I've colored it in a bit, as wrap flower. But I think the most easiest way, no pencil needed except for adding shadow, draw a, a circled grid. I call it a circled grid. A row with even spaced and in between the next row even space. Copy the first row, copy the second row, copy the first and that repeats first second row and think about the five on a dice. Next step is to draw a little dot. You can see a triangle with uh, these three little circles. A little dot, just a little dot. It's part of your pattern, the dot. Each triangle shape you see, you put in the middle a little dot. Can you see it already? Because the hex flower is divided into six. Can you see the six around each small circle? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, next S line down to the dot. There you got it. S wrap flower. I love it. So, the dotted way, like in the step outs posted on patterncollections.com. My way with a squared grid, which I think it's easier because it's time consuming to draw all those dots. But the best way to me is make the pattern the grid. I mean, all the circles are part of the pattern and they help you draw, draw it. So it's a grid too. Lots of fun with this pattern. Thank you, Henny, for creating this lovely pattern. S. Red. Flower. Henny. Brouwer. There she is. Happy day. Happy tangling. Bye-bye.